Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do a gentle roller workout just to get the upper body a bit more open and then we're going to challenge our center muscles, our torso muscles. I hate this word, core. We're going to work on our core when we have the, uh, and some balance work with the roller. So uh, let's bring that roller into a length position, lengthwise position on your mat. Bring your butt up, your bottom, your butt, whatever you like to call it, onto the edge of the roller. You want to make sure you're quite at the quite forward on the roller, so you can roll back and rest your head on. Now make sure your feet aren't too far apart, and you're just going to look straight towards the ceiling. And just take a moment to breathe. Inhale and exhale through the nose. And as you do that, hopefully you can feel yourself sinking backwards, especially the outside edges of your body. Like thinking of the outside edges of your hips falling back, your shoulders back. And just connecting through the middle onto the roller and letting the arms rest. And we're going to, and so you'll probably feel there's a little bit of shifting right and left, right and left. Not as big as this, but maybe a little micro shifts, and that's really fine. Don't uh, freak out. We're always actually in motion a little bit in our body. And we're going to lift the arms up and reach the shoulders up. Let the shoulders follow your arms and then pull the shoulders back towards the floor and hands on the mat and draw a big circle. And to start out, I'm not going to worry about my rib cage lifting. I just want to stretch, 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 and try and press the hands back and circle. Now as you get a little bit more fluid through the upper body. Now try to restrain the ribs a bit down. So you try to take the stretch more into this area. So we're gonna allow the shoulder blades to slide up and bring the arms around and down. Often we think uh, we push the shoulder, our shoulders are forward and then we push them down because we never wanna lift the shoulders. The shoulders shouldn't be up. But just remember, if you want your shoulders to be back, you have a first rib here that's right up under your collarbone. So if you want to get your shoulders back, make sure you roll the shoulder up and over, over that first rib, then it can go down, and then you'll have an open chest. Stretching out and circle. Just do two more. Two. And side. Now I know I have these bumpy ribs sticking out. Try not to let that be a hollow back where you can get your hand under there. Try and feel this part of your rib cage, this part of your spine, just trying to rest onto the roller. Let's take one more and then reverse the direction. I usually do about four to six of these and they're just a nice way to finish the day if I've had to sit rounded forward for some reason at a computer. or studying and circle. Let's just do three more, three, two, and last one. Lift the arms over the top, hands towards the floor, and walk your feet a little closer. You're gonna press into the feet and draw the abdominals in. And you're going to press into your left foot, try not to rock to the right, uh, left side, and lift the right leg up. Now hold your body steady and tap the floor five times. So at this point, I'm thinking about being in a neutral spine and not tucking my bottom under. And I'm also looking straight ahead towards the ceiling. And my arms are going to work a little bit to challenge me. If you want to really give yourself have some fun, hover your arms, what? Oh, well, it's working, surprise, surprise. And then replace your right foot, switch sides, and lift the left leg. So you wanna to try to feel that your torso, your abdominals, your back muscles, your arms react, this leg will squeeze it into it, they'll pull in a bit, hopefully, when you lift your foot up. And those, just your body working to stabilize against the weight shifting of this top leg. 
I'm going to try and touch down without crashing down, not banging the floor. And the last one. Up. Good. Replace your left foot. Let's go back to the arms. You're going to reach back and bend your elbows coming into an open chest here. Trying to stretch that tiny little muscle, that pectoralis minor, and bring your hands all the way down under your hips. Inhale, lift your arms up. Stretching up and exhale, pulling down. And I'm trying to keep my forearm on the floor without sticking out the base of the ribs. And you might be here. Just make sure you're not tilting your hands to the ceiling as you do this. It's always okay if you don't uh, come into a big range of motion. Let's try and keep the integrity of the movement. And down one more nice lift up. And pull down. Now you're going to bring your hands under your hips, reach them up to the ceiling. Make sure your feet are close together and not touching, not too wide. And you're going to open your right arm side without falling to one side. And then bring it up. And as you do that, hopefully you feel kind of this gentle, tensing working of your left side. Activation and open. And we're just trying to stay nice and steady. If you have one kilo weights, you can also use this for added bonus or even a heavier weight to see how shifting that weight off your center line creates you know, a challenge, <laughs> let's say. And last time. And switch to the other side, left arm out and back and left arm out and I'm pushing. I don't have weights right now, so I'm creating my own resistance. I'm pushing against an imaginary force and then pulling back. May the force be with you. Ha ha. Shout out to the Star Wars fans and to use the force. And last time out. Now you're going to turn the palms over, bring the hands to the mat, and you can bring your right leg up. Your pelvis will probably tilt so that your lower back is a little flatter. And I'm going to use my arms. I'm going to press. And now my shoulders will be a little forward, just a little bit, as I press the floor and pick up the left leg. And you're going to tap the right foot down and lift it up and left foot down. And there's a nice little vibration going on in my body here, trying to stay steady, not falling off the roller. And up. I'm trying to feel the low abdominals deep and deep and deepen as I shift my left, right leg. Ooh, that's the right leg. Up and then the left leg. And down. And left. Keep your left leg steady in your table and extend your right leg. It's just going to hover over the floor. And as the leg reaches away for you, try and pull, pull, pull into your abdominal wall. Woo! And don't lift your hand from the mat. That will be, makes things so much more exciting though. And exhale, stretch the left leg. You're going to bring that left leg parallel to the mat. And just notice if you're tensing a lot into your neck, you want to try to keep the work coming down into your core. Stretching the right leg, hovering it over the mat, and then coming back. And left. If your back, your back should be working if it's working too much. And you have to be the judge of that if you're feeling a strain in your back. Hover that leg up a bit higher. Don't worry about matching my direction. I like the way this feels on my low torso. It really, I feel the core muscle. Core muscles, there's that word again. Let's call it torso muscles. The torso muscles, really like a nice belt, just kind of kicking in when my leg reaches away from me. Try two more. And two. And back. And one more left. And back. 
And just pull the knees into your chest. That will relax your back muscles a bit. And bring your weight into you. And then bring the feet down. Now come over to your right side. You're going to slide off the roller and push it away. And just take a moment to relax on the floor. You can turn your legs in. Just let the knees drop against each other. Take a moment to relax, breathing in. And breathing out. And it's such a nice feeling to lie on the back after you've used your roller and then to lie on the floor. Well, I hope that felt nice and refreshing or relaxing. So take it easy. Have a good day.